What up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number three in my eighth annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween. And continuing along with day number three, I got this in the mail courtesy of Warner Brothers, and I just had to pop it in. We're talking Gremlins 1984. I have the 4K Ultra HD here. I uh, recently upgraded to 4K. I've only watched a couple of films and I'm kind of falling in love with it. Yeah, of course it's not drastically different. It's not like DVD versus VHS, but it is just, it just pops, you know, and I'm really enjoying the new format. Um, new to me at least. But Gremlins, 4K uh, release here. So I didn't own Gremlins on Blu-ray. I only owned it on DVD, so quite an improvement from the DVD. Uh, it's just amazing seeing Gremlins in this clear resolution. So Gremlins uh, basically follows a young boy by the name of Billy. It's set on Christmas time, which is a little weird to be reviewing it during Halloween. I usually stick to my seasons, watch films that are strictly, you know, Christmas related during that period and Halloween related during this period. But decided to switch it up just to check out this transfer. Um, that was a little bit jarring. It really was. Like I was getting in the Christmas mood and I'm like, wait a minute, it's it's Halloween. <laughs> uh, why am I doing that? Um, but it follows this kid named Billy, um, more a little older than a kid. Uh, he works at a bank and his father is an inventor, but he's not a very good inventor. Um, he makes stuff that kind of like almost like the as seen on TV stuff that looks like it works really well and then it really doesn't. Uh, and he is in Chinatown looking for a Christmas gift for his son Billy. He finds this old Chinese shop um, who uh, the owner has a little creature that you see on the cover here named Gizmo. And it is a mogwai is what it's called. And so he takes it home. Uh, before he takes it, they tell him three rules. Um, the three rules are uh, don't feed it after midnight. Well, that's the like last one. It's uh, don't don't get it wet. Uh, don't put it in direct light. Sunlight can kill it. And don't ever, ever, under any circumstance at all, feed it after midnight. Now you be, might be asking yourself, well, what if I'm on like a plane and time zone shift and then I feed it, it's like 11 here, but it's like 12 on the East Coast. Like what, what happens then? Who knows? Honestly, I've always wondered myself. Um, no, but so he ends up breaking all three of the rules. Granted, unintentionally, first he gets it wet, and with water it multiplies. A bunch of little fur balls come out of its back. Looks quite painful, and uh, are the same thing as him. They they multiply, and then he feeds it after midnight through the trickery of the new hatchlings, the new grim, the new gizmo esque uh, mogwais, and um, he basically. Uh, notices that they turn into almost like a cocoon, like a pupa state, um, and what eventually comes out of it is like these green gremlin monster little creatures, and they wreak havoc on the town. It's up to him and his lady friend to stop them. Um, gremlins is an all-time favorite horror movie of mine. I watched it as a kid. I've never seen a movie quite mix horror and this kind of zany comedy because even as a kid like there were certain aspects of this film that was scary like when like people die in this movie in like horrific ways but it's almost sort of in a comedy way but it's almost like a dark comedy way it's really bizarre and when you read the the film was much 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 more dark originally and it was uh you know gonna be like a hard r and it ended up being a pg um it, Gremlins kind of known for creating the PG-13 rating, um, one of the films that was responsible. But you know, you hear that how dark the film was, and you could see that some of that stuff bled into the film that we got. Uh, it's got great Christmas atmosphere. Um, it has great zany moments, great characters. Um, Dick Miller's in it. He plays uh, the Futtermans, the neighbors. He's really good in the film. Um, just great dialogue. Corey Feldman's in the film. It, all around, it just has a great script, great beats, great pacing, um, a little bit of darkness to it. There's a story where one of the characters um, tells about 
uh, her dad on Christmas and why she hates Christmas is like super dark and disturbing. Comes out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a great fun movie. Uh, it looks great on 4K. I really liked it. Um, from what I read though, the special features are actually kind of lacking. They didn't port over the stuff that was on the last Blu-ray release, uh, which is very unfortunate. So that's that's kind of a knock against it there. But other than that, I mean, it it looks great. So pick it up if you have it. Gremlins on 4K, pretty awesome release uh, in terms of picture quality. So. With that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow with day number four. Peace. Oh, 8.5 out of 10. I love Grevelums. Um, so peace out.